Hello everyone, welcome back to Doom. It's been a while since I've played, actually, not quite true. I played yesterday, but completely failed to record audio. Uh, very common error in, if you're me, um, but not necessarily if you're a professional, which I'm not. Oh, that's not fair. Many professionals have made this mistake before. Anyway, the point is, we're a little bit further ahead than we were when I finished the previous episode. Um, in fact, I don't know where I am. <coughs> where the heck am I? Uh... Right, so all that's basically happened is that Olivia Pierce is trying to open the Hellmouth again because she has a jar of Argent Energy or something. You missed me die several times trying to kill a summoner with a quad damage, but now we get to see the Mancubus, so I think I'm okay with this. Stop that. We did pick up the Super Shotgun, which I predicted. So after the episode 8.5 Majiggery, uh, we, I reloaded the game, and it turned out that I had to do that all over again anyway. So, oh, quad damage, good. Um, now I just need quarter damage from them, and we are golden, right? Nice. Uh, when I came back to the game, I had to do the challenge all over again, so it hadn't saved it like I hoped it would have. Excuse me, the assault rifle here. Uh, looks like we already are, okay. And I have put some points into some things. Uh, we want to use the plasma rifle against this joker. We can manage it. Uh, one of which is the, I think, yes, give me some stuff. The power up time thingy. Oh, don't like a revenant here. Uh, on the prayer to suit, we had some prayer to tokens available. You are dead. Good. Um, and I elected to use these the the tokens that we had in order to upgrade the power up duration thingy because um, well that seems sensible that's really why now that we are finding them reasonably often especially now that one of them is a quad damage didn't see that there but I'm glad we have it uh, one of them is a quad damage so I kind of would like that to last longer because it's awesome as all heck. Can I press that? Should I press that? Not yet. Um, yeah, so demonic presence, blah, blah, blah. There's some mancubus, mancubodes here and there. Please stop. I'm trying to talk to the viewers and you're being very rude. We do have some uh, challenges to complete on this level. But I've elected not to try to do them right now. Um, I thought it would be more fun for you lot to... Basically, I thought it would make more sense if I just continued where I was and to restart this level just for the sake of a little bit of lore. Although, having picked up the super shotgun, I can imagine like, knowing what you've missed would be fun. Also, uh, I don't really want to do it all. The commentary on my failed version of this run was nonsense anyway. Yes. I don't even know what I did, but it was awesome. Oh, no, no. I'm trying to do as many glory kills as I can, because it's giving me more HP and, crucially, ammo. Because that did take a lot of ammo. Got the weapon upgrade, so I'll show you what I've done. Uh, there, was, there were also some... Oh, escape, tab. oh we could cheat. Um, there were some uh, readable things as well, but I'm not going to go through all those. Death from above glory kills will increase the one that we got in the previous uh, half episode, and we have learned about the Mancubus. Hey, you can read this. We also learned about the Super Shotgun. Do you want to read that? Here you go. So that's pretty cool. I'm glad that I actually got given one, to be honest. Um, why is there an exclamation mark here? You're not telling me anything. Oh, it's probably because I've got a new one. Uh, yeah, so I'm not... As I mentioned in the... Uh, Actual episode 8.5, I'm not particularly bothered by the fact we should get some more ammo in general from those things. This is a really cool arena, by the way. Because um, I'm not really struggling for ammo as it stands anyway. But what I am bothered about is the fact that I now have a double jump, which I'm going to use to uh, every available opportunity. Because it's awesome as... I'm not sure... There's another piece of armor up there, which I probably should get. The other thing I didn't do... Okay, so 
we have a look here, this is a, well we're floating in midair for now. This is where we are. But over there, basically there was a, a big outside bit which I jumped across. And it was quite obvious that you could go back and get a secret and I didn't do it. Because it looked more like the direction I went, which was this way, was the secret way. Because there was a big gap. And if you jump over a big gap, what's well, overkill me? 15 demons using quad damage. So we didn't actually manage to kill 15 using quad damage. Hopefully there's one more available to us. Um, the accumulator's energy signature indicates that it is nearing the top of this Argent facility. Okay, so the accumulator is, I believe, what Olivia Pierce has with her. Guess we can't close it because I destroyed all those things. Well, I mean, we pretty much know that we're going to be in hell because... This is doom. <laughs> Not going to hell would be unlikely. Um, I wonder how far you can fall without dying. Do I want to be here? Where else can I go? I don't see anywhere else to go. Someone point me out? No? I'm not going to be able to go over there, am I? Oh, we can. Oh. All this time it's spent getting me used to the... Um, Capability of the jump. That is a pretty weak effect, if I'm being honest. Oh. Too late. Too little too late. Am I the standard slightly too slow marine? Oh no, that's not where we want to be. I'm, I'm stunned. What's happening? I need to go up there. If I jump in that, it's probably going to kill me, so I'm going to not do that. That seems bad to be near when it happens. But I kind of want to be on it. Do you have to wait for that and then climb on the side of it? That seems... That seems complicated. This is too complicated for a Doom game. I'm not this... I'm not that sort of man. Go on then. Doesn't seem like it. To get in here. I don't really want to be in there when that goes to chunk because I feel like it's gonna swallow me whole. I have to get in here and then jump across when it. Can I just grab onto the thing when it goes up? Yeah, that. Ah. Oh well, I fell, but it didn't hurt me. Hmm. <laughs> This is a pest. I'm assuming that is the thing I have to do, is climb onto that thing. Because these lights basically mean grab onto this, and there is a light on the side of that thingy when we do that, so. But. It's particularly difficult to, oh, there we go, there we go. You can grab onto that. Ah, that didn't work before. Oh, more demonic presences. Hopefully there's another quad damage so I can kill something else. I did upgrade the um, stun on this as well. Come here. That's fun. I like that. Oh, it didn't kill me. That's good. I was worried. We should also use the chainsaw a little bit because that's definitely a way of going about adding some uh, adding some ammo to our. Uh, what? Not enough fuel. That one takes more fuel than I've got. Get out of here. This one. I do like the fact that the super shotgun has a large amount of knockback. It stuns the enemy when I fire at them. I also like the fact that this Revenant can fly. I don't like the fact that it can fly, but I appreciate the design decision. There's several of them. Let's go and find, to find a power-up. Here's a power-up. That's not what I want to do. Let me up there. Help. <laughs> I've become incapable. Kick it. Nice. Low health. Bad. Something landed on me from behind. I was so fixated on getting up there. That's not going to do anything good for me. I want to get up there. I want to see what that is. I'm hoping that one of those contains a quad damage so I can finish at least one of the challenges for this map. Um, but yeah. So, hope you don't mind that I have just continued the game. It was... Yeah, sure. Put me back here. I don't mind that. 
Um, completely my fault that I didn't even check, as you should have been, that everything was recording. You know, it's uh, it's there in the manual. Make sure everything's recording, then you know, release the episode. Let's get up here. I love these completely spurious jump pads. Invulnerability. Oh, here we go. More. More, please. This is when you use this against them. Can't do it. Uh, also, my invulnerability ran out and I didn't have a good enough indication that it was going to happen. Um, so I wasn't prepared for it. Okay. Those are invulnerabilities. I'm not sure how many there are, though. Let's check. Uh, because it wasn't obvious to me. I kind of preferred in the original Doom where it just went black and white and, you know, you knew what you were about. It did the flashy thing that all 90s computer games have to do in order to tell you that something is about to expire. I didn't really see a clear indication that I was invulnerable, so maybe, maybe we should check that a bit. And also maybe we should save the invulnerability orb for... Um, when we have got ourselves into some actual trouble. Oh, I did that wrong. Completely the wrong order of operations. Don't forget we have these right click buttons. Uh, well, right click. Um, abilities. Thank you to the Revenant for putting damage on that thing. So it's actually a grenade. I think we discovered this before. The explosive shot from the shotgun is actually a grenade. Let me kill it. Really need to uh, get this thing to be dropping us some ammo. Let's run a little bit. That seems like a good idea. Pick up these thingies. Get the heck out of here. Boom. Whilst we're doing that, we can pick a slightly more appropriate weapon that isn't running out of ammo. Kill that. There we go. We have to kill 15 imps from behind. That's not going to let us through, believe it or not. So we should focus on that at some point. Maybe not now. Maybe not while all hell is literally breaking loose. I said about to break loose. It's actually on its way. There's some of that. Can we get up there? Yes, we can. Sorted. Right. We have some vantage points now. They're in fighting. Which, 42% health did say happens, but it appears to be scripted. Which is a shame, because obviously, in um, original Doom, it just happened. So there's our invulnerability orb. There's only one of them. And now might be a good time to fetch it. Right, it's literally just that thing at the bottom there. Uh, rocket launcher, yes. Whilst we're invincible... <laughs> did that from mid-air. That's awesome. Don't think I did much to the rocket launcher whilst you were away. Oh, we're back to low health, are we? Uh, I obviously have been using the mid-air detonation thingy. <laughs> yeah, nice one. Expecting another Mancubus, to be honest with you. I'm going to use a shotgun. I'm going to use a super shotgun. As mentioned, it does cause these things to stagger quite effectively, which is very helpful because I don't like it when they're near me. I wouldn't mind some ammo. I need to use my chainsaw on something that only takes one chainsaw to kill because I've got... Oh, I finished. Very well. Another weapon upgrade point. I don't think I can use these effectively right now. Um, although we could improve the super shotgun. Shots penetrate through targets. It does cost six. And in the, in the previous episode, actually, I did mention that moving faster with the tactical scope is starting to be something that I'd like to be able to do. So, um, but maybe we just improve this? I, I was using it quite a lot. I'm going to use that because we do have three points. We might as well put them into something. And as I mentioned, the prayer to suit, I upgraded the um, power-up effectiveness. Proves the effects 
of power up. So the previous one just increased the amount of time that they lasted. Uh, I thought that since we were finding things like quad damage and invulnerability here and there, that seems like a good idea. I do like the fact that there's just these things on the ground that propel you. With no explanation, offers no explanation as to why they should exist in this, you know, in the lore of the game. It's just, here's a thing that does damage, that does this thing, which obviously you have on the UAC base. What are we talking about? We want to go up here to collect something. Oh, yeah, that's nice. And then from that one, we can probably reach there. I want to sprint, but we're kind of already always running. My uh, phone is buzzing at me. Discord. Of course it's Discord. It's always Discord. Road to Hell is paid by Argent. Like, they knew what they were doing. That's the annoying thing. Activate drones. Okay. There you go. Anything in here? Oh. What are these drones going to do? Oh, here we go. Let's watch them. I was going to go and do stuff, but these guys are doing something. Downy. I guess we have to ride them. Obviously. And some more general power ups, which we like to see. Another Eye of Sauron. Good, good, good. Okay. I mean, I feel like there's a better way of absorbing that. Maybe there isn't. I mean, we are this superhuman person. Let's increase our armor because we haven't for a while, and we did run out of it twice in the previous um, encounter. Not necessarily something we were up for. We're going to use this because although we don't need to, it's probably not going to stick around. I guess I, if what I could do, and now that I've thought about it and I'm talking about it, I'm probably going to do it anyway, is um, put the footage from the episode that we missed into this episode. There is actually a thing on the other side which I should visit. I'm not sure if this way is the secret or that way is the secret. So I'm going to guess that... I'm going to guess that we can leave and just come back and find out, right? So let's go over here, see what that is. Is that the way we came in? Can't be. Uh, what is it there? Can we run up these? Not quite. It's a shame. Luckily, these uh, drones don't take too long. What am I looking at here? How do we get in there? What? Down here? Okie dokie. Jump us. There we go. This is there, and then somehow there's a way in behind there. Do not understand how. I'm guessing we don't want to get crushed by those. Hmm. I think what I'm probably going to do is leave it here. Have a look where these... See if I can find my way into there, and in the next episode I'll let you know if I've done so or not. But, uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'm sorry about losing all that information, but, you know, things happen. Mistakes were made, but not by me. Um, and, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I hope you'll be joining me for the next one. I hope that's not going to squish me on the way past. And I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Spike. <laughs> How'd you end an episode? With magic. <laughs>